You don't have to be a chef to make great food. As long as you have a passion for all that's good and great people to share it with, you're good to go. A lot of legendary cuisine was built on the foundation of love, and love is why I do this. I want to share my knowledge so that you can take it with you and make it yours. In turn, I hope that you can make good memories for the people you care about. So get out there, have fun in the kitchen, have no fear, and most importantly, live. Hello everyone and welcome to The Aimless Cook. My name is Jay. My name is Sue. And today, I got a really easy recipe for you because today we're going to make pierogies. Now, as you know, pierogies, if you may or may not know, pierogies are a pretty much a staple, traditional Canadian food, right? Yes, but if they're bought at Safeway, they're not so nice. Not so nice, no. They're not so nice, no. And yes, yeah, they are available at the frozen food section at your local supermarket, but they're no good. So but they're gonna... easier than you think, right? To Did make you know... by scratch? Yeah, to make. Yeah, they're, sure. they're super easy. Half an hour, right? And I was surprised because when I mm. when I always seen the making pierogies, mm -hmm. it 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 looks like it takes a lot of work and a lot yeah. of time. Yeah. But today and we're gonna show you a recipe, and it takes what twenty minutes? I don't know, just as long as it is to boil the potatoes, pretty much, and and roll it all out. It was easy. It was good. It was good. Yeah. So today we're gonna show you a way to make it, and we're gonna change it up because today we're gonna use spelt flour, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yep, and, and spelt is an ancient grain, and it's full of, uh, it's got less gluten in it than regular flour, so um, it's much better for you, easier to digest and all of that. And we're going to change up the cheese as well, because there's a potato and cheese filling that they typically put in pierogies, mm. and usually they use a cheddar cheese, but today we're going to use feta. Actually, the Canadian version, if you ask some um, of the ladies who make pierogies, is cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. Yes. Yeah. One one chemical away from being plastic. plastic. Mm. True. So feta was a, a better option and it's a nice strong taste. So yeah. It yeah. So good. let's have some real food. Mm. So we're going to show you this recipe and we're going to show you right now. Yes. Start with two cups of spelt flour in a large mixing bowl and add three quarters of a cup of water and one egg. Now grab a fork and blend it together, kind of like we did with the handmade pasta video, until you get a rough ball of dough. Now from there, get your hands in there, take it in your hands and knead it on a nice solid surface until you've got something smooth. Next, roll out your dough till it's about an eighth of an inch thick. This is going to become the wrapper for our pierogies. Okay, so now that we got all that sorted out, let's move on to the filling. Okay, so our filling here is very easy to do. We started with about five or six medium potatoes and we boiled them until tender. Uh, just mash them up until smooth and then crumble in about a cup of feta cheese and season with salt and That's it mix together. Well, and there is your filling. Let's get on to the assembling Now grab yourself a small drinking glass and what we're gonna do is we're going to push it down onto our dough sheet and cut it into rounds Take some of that potato filling that we made and we're going to place it in the center of each round leaving about a centimeter around the edges so that you can crimp them shut Meanwhile, get a large part of boiling water ready. Okay, so while Sue is finishing up making the pierogies, I'm just chopping up an onion here and what we're going to do is we're just going to saute it in some um, butter on medium heat for about 5 to 8 minutes until golden brown. Okay, so when your water is at a rolling boil, just put your pierogies into the pot because these things don't take too long to cook. Actually, uh, we're just gonna cook them until they float to the surface. And from that point, we are ready to plate up. So let's take a look. like my baba made them. What's a baba? Except for grandma. Except for these are made with spelt flour. And instead of cheese whiz, <laughs> there's feta cheese. <laughs> but it's awesome. Traditionally though, they've always kind of done them with cheese whiz, right? Or else a mm. sharp cheddar or something, or? Yeah, I think in the, or a since the 70s. Or of some sort. 
in the since the 70s or whatever. Traditional ones probably not, but yeah, but a, yeah. Lo a lot of years they were making them I with think cheese so. whiz. Yeah, I found out my auntie's um, recipe and uh, it had cheese whiz. But these do not. There's feta cheese, which is um, it's delicious because it's so sharp. And um, the spelt flour works um, amazingly well, actually. So who knew? Yeah, they're very nice. I like how you fried them in the in the ghee butter as well. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm, did you want some? Is it good? <laughs>